dietary through again style practice specifically designed to target an anxious and stressful mind. These are deeply restorative, deeply relaxing uh, poses that can really help to combat the monkey mind, a stressful spirit, a racing heartbeat, a tense chest. So to get started today, just find yourself in a comfortable seated position, close your eyes, and begin to center your breath. Bring your awareness in, and focus as much as you can on the breathing. One of the main factors of stress and anxiety is lack of control. So during today's yin yoga class, we're going to focus as much of our awareness and attention on the breath as possible. We can control the breath, although we can't control everything around us. And the deeper, slower, and more aware breathing we perform with consciousness targeted to the breathing, the more calm the nervous system becomes, the more relaxed the heart rate becomes. We will practice a pranayama known as wave breathing. Wave breathing consists of three inhales before exhalation. You first inhale, fill up the stomach, pause. Then inhale, expand the ribs, pause. Then you inhale, fill all the way up through the chest, pause. And then exhale, release all of the breath, drawing the stomach in towards the spine. And then again, you'll inhale, fill the belly, pause. Inhale into the chest, pause. Inhale, fill your whole body up with air, pause. And then gently exhale and release all of the breathing. Once more, you'll inhale, fill the belly, pause. Inhale, expand the ribs, pause. Inhale all the way up, filling the chest, pause. And then exhale, gently release all of the air and all of the effort. Relax, be still here for a moment. Bring your awareness into how your body feels, how the breath feels, passive. And at any point during the practice, if you feel like your mind wanders, you start to worry, you get distracted, just return your awareness to the breath. Keep your focus there. For our first posture, we're going to move into Supta Baddha Konasana or reclined butterfly pose. You're going to sit up and bring your feet together in front of you. Uh, bring them in or out away from the body uh, as much as is comfortable for you. We don't want to do too much strain in yin practice. Um, it's a passive practice and we really want to let the body kind of open up slowly on its own the longer we stay in the posture. So find your comfort level. If you do find that you have sciatic nerve pain, you can always fold a blanket and place it under your sit bones on the ground. And if you feel like um, you need a bit of modification because there's too much strain through your hips and groin area, you can always place cushions underneath your knees. If not, and if you're fully flexible, you can lay flat on your back from here. If you, like I do, want a little bit of support for comfort as well as a slight back bend, feel free to place a cushion or a bolster behind your back. And then lay down in a reclined position. Settle in, find your comfortable place in the pose. You might shift around a little bit at first. In yin yoga, you want to feel a stretch, but you don't want to feel like you need to exert effort or really use your muscles to maintain that stretch. So find your comfortable position and then relax into it, allowing gravity to do the work over the next few minutes. We're now going to begin a series of three uh, sequences of wave breathing. So inhale, fill the belly, pause. Inhale again, expanding the rib cage, pause. Inhale, filling the whole body up with air. And then exhale, releasing all of the breath. One more time, inhale, 
fill up the belly, pause, inhale, bring the air up into your ribs, pause, inhale all the way into your chest and pause, and then exhale, release all of the breath. Your belly moves towards your spine. Do it one more time in your own timing. Release this third inhalation. You can release all of the effort and control breathing for the duration of this pose. Just relax, settle in, focus on the quality of the breath. Baddha Konasana is an excellent pose for relieving stress, opening the hips, releasing, stimulating circulation, stimulating the kidneys. Opening your chest towards the sky. It's a deep pose of relaxation. You may feel like you touch an edge in your flexibility and then you sink a little further, a little bit deeper. You're really grounding into the earth with this pose, your sit bones. Just relax and breathe. Now to come from this pose, you're going to very carefully remove any props that you may have underneath your legs, your knees, or your back. And then lay flat on your back into Shavasana for a moment and just feel that sensation of blood rushing through your body, of calm, of peace. These little pauses in between the postures and yin are just as important as the poses themselves. So just lay flat, feel the earth taking your whole body before we move on. Gently roll onto your side and sit yourself up. We're going to come down onto our belly for our next pose, Sphinx pose. Sphinx is a deeply restorative, very powerful pose and it's excellent for relaxation, for managing stress and anxiety. Once you're laying on your stomach, you're going to take your hands to your elbows, measure that distance, and then open your arms out in front of you. Press into the earth and gently lift your chest off the ground. Your feet are going to be about hips distance apart or a little bit wider. They can be pointed or they can be flat to the earth. You really want to open your chest, move your chest forward, and just allow your hips and your sitting bones and your pelvis to sink deeply into the ground. This is a compression that you're gonna feel in your lower back here. Gentle, should not be painful. And you really wanna roll your shoulders out and open so you're not slouching down into your shoulders during this pose. When you give a compression to an organ and then release it, it really opens up blood flow. So right now, we're compressing the kidneys it's going to draw a lot of the body's attention to the kidneys, and then when we release, we'll get such a nice burst of cleansing and detoxing flowing through that region of the body. If you find this pose comfortable enough as it is, feel free to stay here. If you want a little bit of an extra back bend, then we can move further up into a little bit of a deeper stretch. You can bring your hands out in front of you and slightly open out to the sides and just press all the way up for that um, 
a little bit more of a deep back bend if you have that flexibility. If you're up and it feels like a little bit too much of a strain, feel free to come down onto your belly, rest a moment, and then press back up into Sphinx. Once you find that you've settled nicely into the posture, we're gonna continue with three rounds of our wave breathing. So inhale, gently fill the belly with air, pause. Inhale the air into the ribs, pause. Inhale up into the chest, pause. Exhale and release. Again, you'll inhale, filling the belly with air, pause. Inhale into the ribs, pause. Inhale, filling the whole chest and body with oxygen. And then exhale, release. You can do that one more time in your own rhythm, at your own timing. Gently, never forceful, but moving with awareness always. The more we focus our mind on the quality of the breath, the less it has such a strong hold over it all those vapid movements and wild movements that it normally kind of drags us along with. In this pose, you're creating space for your heart. You're feeling energy moving down in that compressed solar plexus region, the lower Dan Chen. You're creating some awareness around the kidney meridians. You're just allowing the bottom half of your body to gently melt into the earth while your top half remains firm but gently open. And slowly and gently breathing. The movement of the mind is so directly linked with the movement of the breath. And so the more we're conscious of the sound of our breathing, of the rhythm of our breathing, the pace, the less we are so entrapped by a restless mind. Take one more gentle breath here. And then to release this pose, I want you to just lay down onto your stomach and place your forehead down onto your palms and relax. Feeling that deep sense of peace. Feeling that inhibition to move. Just letting the earth take your body as you exert no effort. Just feeling that peace and calm that comes with the pause. After you've been here for a moment, just gently press up, press back, and settle down into a child's pose. Relaxing here. Letting your body be still, letting your mind be still, and just breathing. Gently come back up to a seated position. We're now going to go into a bit of a counter stretch to our back bend, Paschimottanasana, or a forward fold. I find um, it's most comfortable to support this forward fold with either some stacked blocks. In this case, I'm going to be using a bolster just so that you are getting that open back and that stretch without um, too much pressure going into your cervical spine. Um, from just dangling in open air. 
So go ahead and use your props. Set them up however is most comfortable to you. Bring your hands forward and just lean over forward and relax into your pose. It may take a moment to find your edge. In yin yoga, when you find your edge, you want to stop there or draw back a little bit because as we work our way into the pose over the next few minutes, your body will naturally take you to that edge and maybe even push past it without yang, without the effort. Paschimottanasana is an excellent pose that increases circulation, stimulating the parasympathetic nervous system, which increases calmness of the mind, relaxation, and can actually help with insomnia. You're getting a deep opening of the back of your chest. The, the back also needs its moment to open up more space for the heart to beat, more space for the lungs to expand. We're going to begin our wave breathing here. So inhale gently into the belly, pause. Inhale, expand the ribs, pause. Inhale, filling the whole body with oxygen, with prana and then a nice, long, slow, full exhale, leaving no air left. Again, inhale, pause. Inhale, your second wave, pause. Inhale, filling the whole body with air and light, and slowly exhale, releasing, relaxing, back down into stillness. One more time in this pose. Inhale, fill up the belly. Pause. Inhale, expand the ribs. Pause. Inhale all the way up to the top. And exhale, releasing all of the breath, all of the effort, all of the thought. And settling down into a peaceful moment in this deeply restorative forward fold. Just breathe. Feel how your body just slowly, without effort, starts to open, starts to move closer towards the ground, starts to relax. If you notice any tension anywhere, just breathe into the tension. Send energy there, send oxygen there, and just allow that to show you where you may be having tense areas that you weren't previously aware of. If I feel open enough at this point, supported, and like I'm not overexerting, I will remove my bolster so I can go slightly deeper into the stretch, but if you're comfortable where you are, feel free to stay there and just relax for this last minute of Paschimottanasana. When we relax and we focus on the breath, we're focusing on the present. When we're feeling anxious and panicked, we're either living in the future that our mind has created or reliving traumas that we faced in the past. The only way to avoid these invasive and deeply troubling thoughts is to focus on the present moment, bring as much of your awareness into the body as possible. Very slowly, roll yourself up out of your forward fold, removing any of your props that you may have placed underneath or around you. And very slowly and gently lay yourself back into a moment of Shavasana. Just release and breathe there for a few moments and feel that rebound after the stretch. 
You'll feel your spine settling into the ground, your sitting bones settling. Just allow your body to fall however it may, without effort, and breathe. While we're here already laying on our back, you're gonna lift your knees, bringing your feet in a little bit towards you. And you're gonna scoot your hips out to the left and then slowly lower those knees over to the floor, creating a gentle spinal twist. You can bring your right hand to your left hip and extend your left arm out onto the floor and gaze towards the left hand. These spinal twists are not only relaxing, they're very detoxifying. You're creating a compression through your internal organs, bringing your body's attention to them. And when we unwind, a rush of blood and oxygen will fill them helping to cleanse out any tension, any stresses. A lot of the emotions that we feel are caused by tensity in our body that we're not aware of. And so doing these little small movements to detox really can help in combating an anxious mind. Just relax here. Take one final breath on this side. You'll inhale, bring your knees back up, shift your hips back to center, and we'll switch to the other side. Scooting our hips out to the right, dropping them down to the side, feeling that gentle twist. Opening the right arm out, left hand comes to the right hip, and gazing out over the right hand. I always like to do some back bending, some forward bending, and then finishing with some gentle twists as they tend to reset the spine and get us back into order after we've been doing a lot of compression and releases. Just relax, allow the body to twist on its own very gently with minimal effort.
take one final breath there. Then you're going to inhale your knees back up. Shift your hips back to center. Just extend your legs back out and lay still. In a very centered, momentary Shavasana. Just feeling that alignment return. Your spine coming back to center. After you slowly sit yourself up, I want you to find a segment of wall that you can comfortably lean up against while running your legs upwards. I like to fold a blanket and put it at the base of the wall if I feel like my yoga mat is not cushioned enough to protect my sit bones from the floor. And you wanna just ease closer to the wall while you're turned sideways, and then once you feel your sit bones make contact with that corner of the floor, then go ahead, turn, shift up, and bring your legs up the wall. Now you can bring your arms up over your head, you can leave them down by your sides, whatever is the most comfortable position for you. This pose is an excellent relaxation pose, as are many inversions. It reverses the blood flow and brings the circulation back down to center. Most of us spend a lot of our day up walking, putting all the pressure on our legs and feet, and it's nice to go in the opposite and feel the sensations of reversing that circulation. It's also just deeply relaxing, deeply restorative. So we'll stay here for a few moments, just observing, breathing very gently, and relaxing. While we're here, we'll do one more form of pranayama, which I refer to as counted breathing, where you inhale for five counts. You hold the, hair, uh, the air in for two to three counts. You exhale for five counts, and then hold the breath on the outside for two to three counts. So when you're ready, we'll begin to inhale one, two, three, four, five, now hold in for one, two, three, and gently exhale, five, four, three, two, one, and hold the air on the outside for about three counts. Now you can repeat that a few times on your own. I find, especially during moments of panic or anxiety, this method of breathing is extraordinarily calming and cathartic to the mind. When you bring your focus and your awareness to the counted breathing, your mind tends to follow suit. So practice that now in this pose for a few more rounds, if you wish but also take it with you to use in everyday life.
Now you can slowly lower your legs down from the wall, bring your knees towards your chest. Roll back onto your side and scoot yourself back away from the wall before you use your hands to sit yourself up. Pause for a moment. You don't want to move too fast after you've done an inversion, even though that was a really gentle inversion. If you jump right up, you will <laughs> potentially get pretty dizzy. Work your way back to your mat. Once you've returned to your mat, you can lay down flat on your back for our final Shavasana. Your arms out next to you, slightly away from your body, your feet slightly apart. If you find that you get a little bit cold, gently cover yourself with a blanket here. If you need a little additional support under your head or your neck, place a small cushion or a folded blanket there and just Relax. This is the end of all of our efforts. This is where we release and just feel all the work that we've done by not working. We've done a lot of action with inaction in this practice. Take a really big, really deep inhale. And just let it all go. Exhale out of your mouth. One more time. Take a big, deep Full inhalation and <sighs> release all of the effort, release the practice, and just relax here. <sighs>